Hi, Sequels friends. So you may notice from the background that we are in a different area of the house and we are actually in my living room today. And why? Because I'm keeping with the theme of the new year and doing something completely different with this video. I have a coffee table in front of me that I thrifted at Habitat for Humanity for seven bucks and it is in need of a refinishing. So I thought today we would do a thrift flip video. So if you wanna see what I got and what I turned it into, then stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. If you are new here, I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, and I use this YouTube channel to document that journey. So um, if you've been with me for some time, you know the theme of the new year has kind of been trying different things. Um, this channel has primarily been dedicated to uh, reselling and how to resell on different online platforms. But given that you're here to look at reselling and thrift hauls and all that, I thought you might be interested in coming along with me as I did a thrift flip. So. I'll pop a little video or a little picture up here of what we got. Um, I got this at the Habitat for Humanity Restore and it must have been there for quite some time because I ended up getting it at the outside of the store, which if any of you guys are restore shoppers, you know that means it was deeply discounted. So I got this beauty with these sexy mid-century legs for only seven bucks. I know. Not to say I needed a coffee table, but you know I can't pass it up for seven bucks. So it sat and sat and sat and we moved into a new home and I do not want to look at it the way that it is, so I thought it was time to flip it. So I thought that I would go ahead and show you what that entailed. And just as a heads up, I ended up spending just $13 on some polyurethane. Um, and that's all that I put into this. So this brand new, sexy, mid-century, long-legged table cost me only 20 bucks total. So let's see what the process entailed. It only took me two or three days, and let's see what the final results are. And as I say always, if this content is interesting to you and you'd love to see more thrift flip videos, I am flipping shit all the time and I'm happy to document the process and um, take you along with me. So if you're interested in that, give me a thumbs up so that I do know to create more videos like that. And um, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified every time I load a new video. So let's see what this entails. Let's go. So here's an adorable picture of Max when we moved in, but getting to the table, um, this shows you what the top of the table looks like. So really thick on the varnish and lots of scratches all over. And then again, another video I happen to be taking of the animals, but it does show off the table. You can see the nice long legs as I slowly come around here. I got this on slow-mo for you, so you just get to look at my messy living room for a minute there. Um, Again, you can see all the deep scratching. It does have those beautiful, beautiful legs. And if you look all the way towards the right corner, you'll see that the corner has been munched on a little bit by Max. Now I've got the table outside in front of our studio garage, and you can see it really well in the light with all the scratches and such. Now that left-hand corner, I have begun to do a little sanding because I wanted to see if this was going to just sand off or if I needed to get a, um, a thinner to put on top of it, but luckily it sanded well. So here's a closer look at that sanding detail from just one swipe across. And then here, um, I just thought I'd show it to you one more time before I get to sanding the whole entire top. You can really note the peg leg um, construction here, which is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, I did use sandpaper that I had in my garage, and the only one that was marked was an 80 grit. And then after that, I just used less coarse until it was smooth. So here's Max and I sitting out in front of the studio garage. Um, that's FBG Studios. If you don't know, my other half is a glass blower at Full Blown Glass on Insta. Um, so he was kind enough to set me up in front of his studio. 
and um, I just got to sanding. So nothing fancy here. I am clearly not a pro in any type of way. I don't pretend to be. I just um, uh, learned some things from re uh, watching YouTube videos and uh, a lot of HGTV and stuff like that back in the day. Other than that, everything's trial and error with me. So um, I have that uh, like I mentioned before, 80 grit sandpaper. I sanded all of the legs down, the top, and I sanded the sides of those um, wood beams that are holding that peg leg construction. I did not sand the underside. The legs were so are so short. I didn't think it necessary to um, sand under there. I'm pretty sure the only person's going to see it is Max, and um, he's not going to be bothered by it. What I do want to note is I did sand with the grain um, in very light motions, not putting any pressure on it. And then um, with a damp tack cloth, I wiped everything down to make sure there was no dust on it. After everything sanded down all smooth, I went inside to the studio and I had this mahogany stain. Um, I just had it in the garage left over from some other projects so I gave that a try on the underside and I didn't really like how warm it was so I decided instead to run out to Lowe's and just get a poly. Now I did a little bit of research on YouTube before I went out and um, on the Men Wax website they had suggested this wipe on poly which I've never used. Um, it's easier and it doesn't prevent um, it prevents dripping and stuff so I gave that a try. It was super easy to use. I put about three coats on and you wait for it to dry a couple hours in between. Lightly sand it down if necessary and I just used an old towel to apply it. I love this stuff. It's awesome. I will definitely use it for future projects. So once that was done and all dry it's ready to come inside. table looks like. As you can see, Max just has to be in the video. As you can see, the finish is much, much lighter. Um, you can see the grain a lot better. I did um, sand things out, but there are still some, um, some markings on it which is fine for me. That gives it some good character. And I know a lot of people like to really style up their um, coffee tables, but we're fairly minimal around here. We eat most of our meals here rather than our dining room table. So I'm not really, you know, not really putting much on it besides just um, our laptops so that it's clear when it's time to eat. So it still kind of has that warm tone to it, but again, it looks a lot, lot better clearing that, um, that overly orange finish off. And actually, um, it goes better with our parquet floors. We do rent our home, look at that button center. Um, so we don't have the ability to change flooring. And I actually think um, it coordinates better with the coloring um, as the table color now ties in that lighter wood of the floor color. So a little sneak peek, if you notice that big old humongous couch behind it that is a little rough for wear, it is about the width of a twin sofa or a twin uh, bed. Super, super uber deep. Um, and it was another freebie find. Um, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. Somebody was offering it for free to come and tow it away and they said that it was a Pottery Barn couch. 
upon further inspection. It is actually a restoration hardware couch and that is going to be the thrift flip for next month. I'm going to do some things to try to disguise a little bit of the, um, the fading. There's also a tad bit of scratching from our cats. There were some scratch marks already on it from her dog. And this cushion is Max's cushion, but there is not an intent to keep a blanket there. There is actually a rip in it that needs to be repaired and I'm just hiding it with that blanket because if your dog is like mine, then as soon as he sees a rip, he feels the need to complete the job. <laughs> so that is gonna be the thrift flip for next month. So if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe ring that bell so that you will be notified and i would absolutely love nothing more than to hear your comments in the comment section about what do you think about this seven dollar coffee table flip oh well i guess we could say 19 dollars since it cost me 11 dollars for that min wax polyurethane sanding just took time and effort and I had the sanding pads and everything already on hand. He is really showing off to make sure that he is in this video. <laughs> so like I said before, if you like this video and you'd like to see some more thrift flips and not 100% um, reseller content, then please do like it so that I know to create more content like this. And again, I'd love, love, love to hear your comments in the comment section. What was your recent thrift flip? What's your favorite thrift flip that was under $10? Um, I just love to hear from you. So we'll close it out with the pitiful pity. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. You say bye. Bye.